Hello and welcome to today's episode of Fishing with Joe. Now on today's show, we will be heading out with my good buddy Steve. And Steve is gonna take me to one of his favorite bass lakes. Now Steve has recently been catching bass on square belt crankbaits and jerkbaits. So we're gonna try out the square build crankbait bite and the jerkbait bite. And see how it works out. If it doesn't work out, I've got my handy dandy leech style bait that you see me use so much. So, hope you enjoy today's episode of Fishing with Joe. And remember, you have got to love it. For over 100 years, R&R &R Bait and Tackle has been selling the best bait in the Buckeye State. Our minnows, crawlers, and craws are guaranteed to catch fish or die trying. We've got your favorite lures at the price you need. We know where the fish are biting. Open seven days a week, all summer long. Visit R&R &R and see why we're the best in the Buckeye State. This shows you the middle of the boat, side imaging, shows on both sides. You can see we're in 28 feet of water, where it goes out to the side, right there is 28 feet down. So you can see, and like right here, out here in the middle, that's 20 feet to the right of us, there's three fish right there coming down the screen. And they'll just show up as little white dots like that. You can see kind of the indentations in the ground. What happens when that's darker color like that, you got a little bit harder surface. You can see right here, there's some rock pile in there, a little bit of rubble. It's got a couple little fish sitting in that. And that projects right off the back of the motor, so it kind of gives you an idea of what's below you. All right, all of that means we're gonna catch some fish. Fish. Oh, got him. Oh, there you go. All right. How red its eyes are. All right, here we go. When in doubt, catch them in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we've been searching the lake, and one of the important things in the early spring is water temperature. And we are trying to find the spot where the shad are, where there's bait fish, and where we've got kind of the highest water temperature on the lake. And so we have finally found that area. I am with my good buddy, Steve. And we are on his favorite lake. And this lake is just full of fish. So we are gonna catch a bunch of them, all right? All right, all right. Pow, one out. Thank you, thank you. See you later, little buddy. All right. Now these docks out here are a lot deeper, a lot deeper. Some of them are 15 feet of water under them. be a big one. Get it. I got to go. All right. Got him. All right, folks at home, fish on. Uh, it might not be that big. We'll get that net anyway. It's acting like it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's a good might one. be a small mouth. Looks like It is. It's a big small mouth. Yay! Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Old brown fish. Look at that. All right, let's see that small thing. Oh, he's got the net all in him. See him blind. Yeah. Right yes. Oh, he's gonna have some pliers handy. Boy, well, he ain't that big, but he's fat. That is a nice small mouth. He fought like he was a lot bigger. That is a nice small mouth. So tell us about what's going on here. Man, I think that's just kind of a fluke. I don't know. You know, we're going along throwing a jerk bait about 15 feet of water. And man, look how look how fat that little guy is. That is a fat that is a fat fish right there. But uh I don't know. Threw it in there, jerked it twice and stopped. A little 
brown chubby. He ate it. Oh yeah. You get him back. Oh yeah. You go tell his go tell his buddies where we're at. <laughs> Good job. Ah, oh, he's biting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hope that he bites you. Yeah, let's hope there's, <laughs> let's hope there's about ten of them right Anytime there. Anytime a bass bites you, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great job. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. oh, no Joe. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. <clears throat> Tearing them up. Green fish, brown fish, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah. Okay, Steve went to work with the suspending jerkbait, and he also went to work with the square build crankbait. But the square build crankbait just didn't seem to pay off, and here's the reason why. The night before we were fishing, it got extremely cold, went down to around freezing, and those aggressive biting bass just weren't so aggressive anymore. Because of it, the bait was just ineffective. So, I took old reliable, my little leech style bait, and we got in close to some of the structure and some of the boat docks, and really went to work. Get him. Oh, you didn't get that fish. Look, bit my claws off. Oh, man. I, I throw it in there and get him. Whoa. Don't, don't swim in there and get him. I'm not gonna swim in there. Get your... Ooh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, this is a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> get that net. Grab that I got net. It, grab I got that it, net. Grab that net. Got... Oh, gosh. Now I can get my, oh, now I can get my pinchers back. Hang on, hang on. There you go. All right. There you go. Oh, man. Here, let me get on your trolling motor and back us out. Here are. I was, I got it. I was about to say, anytime the water runs in like that, there's always a fish here. And right when he did it, he bit my claws off. <laughs> Good job, man. Oh, man, no. I didn't want to steal your fish. You didn't want to steal my fish. You ran right up there immediately. <laughs> I was like, I was like, dude, no, you need that fish. He did. He black, are my claws still in his throat? I don't see him. He may have spit him. Oh, that's a good fish. That's yeah, a good one. Fat one. That's a fat fish. Let me get down here out of the sun so you guys at home can see. Wow. All right, we're just kind of tag team fishing. <laughs> we got to get these fish in the boat today. <laughs> It we're, takes two bites to get them. Yes, we're gonna make it happen any way we can. Beautiful fish. Still looking for the claws down his throat. <laughs> See any claws down there, guys? See any claws? All right. No, they can't. No, I don't know. He might have coughed them up. Get that belly. All right. Beautiful, beautiful fish. All right. There we go. There we go. How fat that belly is on that fish. Yeah, it is. Good one. Who knows what time of year it is. Feed up, little fella. Alrighty. Thank you, thank you. Woo. Nicely done. All right, fist ball. Pow. One for you two. Taking my jacket off. Time to get serious. I'm about to go Joe Jordan on him. <laughs> it's like play. Fish, you know I don't play games. Got another one like that, and then I've got the one that came with it. So. Pretty cool for Bob. We used to throw rocks at the crabs in Okinawa. They had the big, they had these big sea walls with these big concrete jacks that would break up the tide, so it wouldn't erode, you know, the, their island. Mm -hmm. Crabs would crawl all over them. They would get rocks and try to hit the crabs with rocks when we were 
drunk. I'm bored. What? I don't give you an opportunity to get bored in the military. Tax dollars at work. Finance my crab. Crab hunt. And then I hit one once and I felt bad. Did you? Yeah, what I I So that's the story of how you oh, caught crabs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it sounded to me like. <laughs> what, what are you doing out there in Okinawa? Uh, that's the story of how you caught crabs, Stevie. <laughs> First you just throw rocks at them, and the next thing you know, you get them. Uh, that's what they all say. <laughs> what are you? Oh, God, he... Ooh, that's a good one. Hang on, good hang one. on, hang on, I'll get the Good one. Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, in the boat. <laughs> just, in just, the boat. Just swing him in. Swing him. The leech. Ah. Oh, gosh. All right. We are working these fish that's little, out. I'm a little bit bigger. We are working these fish out slowly but surely. That is a really, that is a really good fish. Long fish, it's a male. So, now, Steve, when you're catching, when you're catching these fish here, tell me, tell me about the fish that you're catching. You get a lot of males like this. Yeah, that's, that's about an average fish. I mean, most of them are gonna be 14, 15 inches, you know, pound and a half, two pounds. Now you can get males here three or four pounds too. I mean, there's a big fish in here. But here recently, we've seen a lot of those nice fish coming up shallow. You know, water's warming up. It's 58 degrees. They know what to do. They're looking for a new home. All right. There we go. There we go. And there we go. All right. Take a good look. Let's put them back in the shade again. Oh, yeah. In the shade. Oh, there we go. All right, guys. Now, here's my bait doing what I do a lot. You see me do this in a lot of different areas. This bait is, yeah, the creme de la creme. Um, I use it basically in two patterns. I either want white or black. I don't want any shades of gray, right? Two watt wide gap hook and a tungsten weight. And uh, you, you can go in between maybe uh, eighth and a quarter, Texas rig it. Just let that weight slide up and down and twitch it. Pitch it around docks. Works all around the country. Fishing gets tough, pull it out. Fishing is really good, pull it out. <laughs> I'm about to put it back to work. All right? All right. Ooh, Ooh got him. Oh, oh. <laughs> Small one uh. on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Great hook set though. Hi. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> Alright guys. Look. This is why we came here. Giants. Yes. They can't all be giants. <laughs> you know, some of them have to be regular size fish too. We had a great time catching fish here on the lake with my buddy Steve. He is still fishing away. I'm gonna take this fish and put him back in the lake so he can get a little bit bigger. All right, there he goes. I wanna thank you guys for watching the show. Hope you enjoyed it, you had fun. I uh, took one of my favorite little baits and did a whole lot of pitching and caught a few fish. And uh, Steve pulled out the jerk bait, jerked some up. We had a great time. And uh, check out some of the other shows. So uh, right over here, scroll down, check out all of those Fishing with Joe shows. You know you're going to love them. All right? I will see you guys next time. Yeah.